Boom! Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial and guide for the Golden Shot uh, Vineyard Acres Edition uh, Edition and difficulty level is medium. I'm going to play six shots for you and show here how you will be able to get the chest here on the screen. We're going to play with 99% of the time the Golden Long Iron. If we do have some troubling with the headwind, with some headwind stuff like that, then we're going to go with the long, uh, with the wood club. You can see the uh, wind chart here on the side and with the correct rings uh, for the golden long and golden wood. It's taken from the golf clash notebook.io, so check that site out, out definitely. When it comes to the golden shot, if you're new to the golden shot, you do get one free shot. So it's important to spend that wisely. If you do want to play more shots, then you can buy for five bucks for six shots. We're going to play with, here as you can see, we're going to play six shots. We're going to go with a long iron here. We're going to go with max backspin, always, on this one. And we do want our adjustment to be just slightly before, as you can see, slightly before the lighter blue ring here. A little bit to the right as it would bounce in. So we're going to take it from that position. And then when you have, we're going to go with a little bit more than 4.7. We're going to adjust for 5 basically. So we're going to go with the blue ring here as you see. Taking the shot button. Take shot button. And adjust on that. The reason we take a little bit more. Is because we are playing over water. And the ball will be affected a little bit more by the wind. We bounce there. And we sit there a little bit too long. In that way. But we take one of them. So maybe we should be uh, uh, moving our adjustment a little bit. Behind, but we did take a chest at least, so we get Goliath cards, do get running cards, and we do also get two Kingmaker balls. With the Kingmakers are the ones that we do want here. So next one, five more shots to go to get the last three chests. We do have the same type of win now, max backspin. Now we're going to move our adjustment a little bit more, as we did have the hump here as an adjustment. We're going to just take ourselves actually to have the yellow ring to cut the. The fringe here, as you can see, you have that as an adjustment. And 4.9, we're going to add up, take a little bit more than 5. Hit the perfect, it's very important to hit your balls perfect. Bounce there. This one were uh, very good, happy with that adjustment. Now we basically know there, so we take the fire chest, which is good. So as you can see, we are adjusting according to the rings here, extra mile cards, perfect. Uh, and it works perfectly. We are in basically max distance, it shouldn't be a problem for us to get it close. We need to be a little bit lucky with the first bounce, of course, on the fairway. Now when we have find that, found that, now we're going to go down, I'm going to have that as an adjustment again. I'm going to go max backs. No ba no side spin. I don't think it's necessary. Line ourselves up here. There we go. So we get slightly tailwind again. There we go. Important hit it perfect, going to come in there nicely. Very, very close to the hole in one, and we need to bag that one, would love to get. And now we got the, uh, the outer rings, now we only have the hole in one left. The dart, the grizzly, as you can see there, it says 4.1 in wind, we adjusted for 4.5. Just have a little bit of room there. Three shots to go. Now we do have headwind. We're going to go with the same type of adjustment, max backspin. The thing that we're going to do now is that we're going to, as you can see, remember, here is our normal adjustment. We're going to slightly add that up a little bit so we go have some space here from the fringe. It's because the ball, with when it bounces, is going to be different than otherwise, you know. Hit it perfect again, which is good. 
So we got the bounce and it's going to slow down a little bit. It's a good shot. We need to adjust that one a little bit higher up or a little bit more uh, like extra for the wind in that position. So two more shots to get the hole in one. For side wind, now we're going to go max. We're going to add just a little bit of side wind to the right. Max backspin was that I meant. Now we're going to drag it up a little bit here. Want to come in a little bit hotter here. As you can see, we take a little bit more space there from the fringe. And think that is better and then we do adjust according to Like you can see the red ring is 4 I'm going to take a little bit more Hit it perfect again which is good Very, very close there as well for the hole in one. I want to bag the hole in one. It's always nice to clear uh, everything out with the with the shed. So one more try. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Max headwind now. We're still going to go with the max backspin part. We're not going to change that. So we're just going to change the way that we are lining this one up. As you remember now, the last time we had the red here, uh, red ring here. So I'm going to drag that one. A little bit up again. I'm going to adjust for four. Hit that one perfect again. I'm going to be short. We're straight to the pin basically, but we got short. But again, my friends, we would be bagging uh, one of the inner circles, like inner rings, basically in all the shots that we do have. We were playing with the golden long iron. I don't know why I put the golden wood club here on the video, but it doesn't really matter now. You know that as well. So we got all out of the hole in one and we were very close. But here, max backspin. And with Tailwind, then you have the yellow ring uh, cutting the fringe, as you can see on the shots, and adjusting according to max distance with your long iron. And adding just a little bit more, because we're playing over water. When it comes to headwind or sidewind, we do drag up the adjustment, so the red ring is cutting the fringe instead. And adjust according to the ring guide, max distance, Combined with a little bit more as it over open water. So my friends, please make a comment in the comment section below Tell me what you got in your chest. I would be happy to know. Good luck and get in the hole